part of the infrastructure that we have under these four community sectors, under businesses, neighborhood associations, faith-based organizations, and youth organizations, is each of those sectors have 15 organizations. So we have nearly 60 organizations who have been a part of coordinating these vaccination and health uh, services events. There's a, there's a little store called Wild Woodies that's, that's in the hood, and uh, uh, they did a bang-up job with, with with having hundreds of people come to take uh, vaccines and 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 surveys, and so there's a there's kind of a, a creative uh, little competition that we've got going between churches and and wild wild woodies. We have exceeded our goal of vaccinating 5,000 um, people, and even young people who who are who feel like they're invincible. It's it's. It's, it's, it's interesting and wonderful watching them gradually come around. And he was probably only about 18 or 19 years old. And he said, I have several concerns about the vaccine, about how fast it was you know, developed. And you know, I've heard all of these rumors about it. And so because at our vaccination events, we have physicians there, we have pharmacists there, I was able to take them over to our lead pharmacist. And they sat and talked probably for about a good 10, 15 minutes. And then he came back and he was like, I'm ready. I'm ready to get vaccinated. And I think that's the power of being able to have these services available, readily available in the community. The big elephant in the room is, is trust. Do I, do I trust you? Do I trust that the information that you're given is right? Do I trust uh, that the, the vaccine is not going to make my head swell up? We've been able to knock down some uh, of the, the conspiracies and um, help people trust. People think that we should be mm, spreading the gospel. Well, it's hard spreading gospel to dead folks. Uh, we, we need people to be alive, active, uh, moving, prosperous. Uh, one of our go-to passages is, is the text that says, Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. We know that during the pandemic, many people didn't get their annual wellness um, exams. And then we know from this community in particular, there are a lot of people who would never get them anyway. And so this, again, provided them with that opportunity. We had one woman who came and she was like, I'm fully vaccinated. I just showed up because I needed to get my blood glucose checked today. And she was able to do that. What I've learned in getting a chance to know the county executive and his team is that they are really concerned about the health of Kansas City's east side. Um, it was really clear to me that there was a sincere, heartfelt effort um, and desire to really be able to address health in an innovative way. Well, I think this is one of those have tos. Uh, they're, they're, they're just times when, when you have to. You have to do it, but you don't have the political will to do it. Uh, that stops some people, but, but to see uh, n number one, his will, and then uh, the unanimous vote of the legislators. I'm, I'm like, wow. I am uh, bursting at the seams for the possibilities of this. Uh, and the collaboration and the new friends and, and the, the, the army of folks that are uh, on our team to fight this battle is just significant. We really want the community to drive what the next focus of this project, this initiative will be. That was the vision for um, the Jackson County Executive, you know, not just to address COVID-19, but to use this as a springboard to address many of the other health disparities in our community. I can say personally, I would really love to focus on diabetes. Um, and we know that um, for the most part, African-Americans, Latinos, people of low income are at higher risk for diabetes. And there are so many opportunities for us to be able to address pre-diabetes before it moves into the diabetes range. I don't, I'm not sure if, if this kind of cooperation is happening in other uh, cities around the country, uh, but I, I just pray that we can, we can expand it, that we can keep the groups together, uh, that we can work on all these things that'll make us, that'll make us healthier. 
having been born and raised in Kansas City and growing up in Kansas City's east side, this project has just really been like near and dear to my heart. To be able to do this work on the east side and to have the impact um, in vaccinating thousands, um, it's just been a really personal, um, man, it, it doesn't get any better than this.